Hi, Mr. A Reviews here. Today, I am going to explain a short Korean horror drama film called Human Form. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. In the opening scene, we are introduced to a five-year-old Korean girl named Chung In Hyung. She is on the floor of her bedroom, drawing in her sketchbook. In Hyung loves to draw pictures of girls with colorful eyes and exaggerated facial features. Her creations are often artistic and advanced for a child. It is one of her many talents admired by her teachers and family. In Hyung's mother enters the room before asking her what she is up to. She has seen In Hyung draw beautiful pictures several times but the little girl never fails to surprise her mother. This particular drawing impresses her more than usual. To glorify it even more, she frames it and puts it on the wall of her bedroom. Beside the picture are several other drawings that In Hyung has made in the past. All of them are unique but have a common theme. In Hyung looks at the wall and smiles at her accomplishment. Strangely enough, we notice that the mother doesn't show us her face throughout the scene. After that, the scene cuts to several years later. In Hyung has grown up into a teenage girl who is obsessed with her looks. One morning, she is waiting outside the school for her best friend. While waiting, she looks at herself in a mirror, nitpicking the imperfections on her face. Throughout her childhood, she used to do the same to her drawings but as she grew up, In Hyung started treating her face like a canvas. The transition is not particularly a good thing for her since she is too harsh on herself. As she silently complains about her face, her friend rushes to her and apologizes for being late. They hold hands and make their way to the cosmetic doctor. In Hyung's obsession with having a perfect face has grown exponentially over the years. Now that she is old enough to get plastic surgery, she wants to change her entire face to look like the models on billboards. The friends patiently wait for their appointment in the lounging area. They are nervous since the day is one of the most important days of their lives. As they talk, we find out that In Hyung hasn't told her parents about the appointment. She hopes they won't object because plastic surgery has become something quite common in the modern world. Her friend, however, is seemingly nervous about the plan. Suddenly, she asks to see In Hyung's sketchbook. It is then revealed that she never stopped making bizarre sketches of women like she used to. But since they are very personal to her, she refuses to show the sketchbook to her friend. The girl doesn't care about her privacy and repeatedly insists. When In Hyung still doesn't agree, she takes her bag and forcefully gets the sketchbook out. Fortunately for In Hyung, before her friend can get a look at the pages, a nurse calls her name. She takes a deep breath before walking in to see the doctor. She also brings the sketchbook with her as reference pictures. She excitedly shows them to the doctor, waiting for her reaction. However, her heart shatters into pieces when the doctor laughs at her drawings. The woman can almost not believe that In Hyung wants to look as horrendous as the pictures. In Hyung still hopes that the surgery would be possible but is informed that her wish is too unrealistic. Since her face is structured entirely differently from the sketches, it is impossible for them to reframe it in the way she wants. She is bluntly asked to give up on her dreams but In Hyung doesn't want to return home empty-handed. She starts arguing with the doctor and tells her that the picture is not very different from the doctor's face herself. The doctor doesn't fancy being disrespected by a schoolgirl. She puts In Hyung in her place, stating that even if they could do the surgery, a girl like her would never be able to afford it. Their clinic is exclusive to the rich and In Hyung is definitely not one of them. Until now, we have not seen the doctor's face. Suddenly, the camera pans toward her to reveal her heavily modified and scary-looking features. Her skin is like that of a porcelain doll, her chin is unnaturally sharp and pointy, her eyes look animated, and her nose is unusually structured. All this, added with the thin eyebrows make her look like a haunted doll. She has, most definitely gone under the knife several times to get to where she is. It is almost surprising that In Hyung has been talking to her normally up until now. But the biggest surprise comes when she claims that she wants to look like the doctor, no matter the cost of the procedures. The doctor gives in to her demands and tells her the total cost. The numbers make In Hyung turn around and return, home without a word. She doesn't even talk to her friend who is curious about how the appointment went. In the following scene, In Hyung is at home. She, her mother, and her sister are 439 chatting while enjoying dinner together. In Hyung is quiet because of the incident of the day but the other two talk about a man who was recently bitten by a dog. It turns out that the dog was made to get plastic surgery to look prettier. The mother thinks it is strange but In Hyung's elder sister argues animal plastic surgery is a popular trend. 
In Hyung takes this opportunity to tell them that she also wants to go under the knife. Then, we get to see her mother and sister's faces for the first time. They look identical to each other and to the doctor who In Hyung saw earlier. It is then revealed that the haunted doll look is the new beauty standard. Every model, actor, and internet personality has the same face. The trend has taken over the world, causing even the normal people to look alike. People go overboard with the surgeries to look conventionally attractive and uniqueness in facial features is non-existent. Ignoring the obvious difference between her and In Hyung's face, her sister, asks her why she wants plastic surgery. They argue that she is already beautiful but sound like hypocrites to In Hyung. She glances at them in disbelief, asking them to look in the mirror. She wants to get her face done before the yearbook picture no matter what. Since her elder sister also got plastic surgery in high school, she argues that it is only fair she gets it as well. But to her dismay, the mother and sister are against the idea. They think In Hyung is not ready for a life-altering procedure. And even if she is, she needs to pay for it herself. Several minutes later, the father joins them at the dinner table. His face confirms that the trend is not limited to just women. His features are identical to his wife and daughter except for the beard. The family continues eating in, silence which the father thinks is strange. When he asks them what is wrong, In Hyung storms off to her room, leaving her plate of food unfinished. In the next scene, we see In Hyung going to meet her friend. She hopes to freshen her mood but her heart drops on getting a look at her friend's face. She has also gotten plastic surgery to look like the rest of them. The girl asks In Hyung if she likes the new look but In Hyung is just too stunned to comment. She feels worse than she did earlier now that she is the only odd person. In Hyung returns home without saying anything to her friend. On her way back, it starts to rain but she doesn't care enough to wait for it to stop. All In Hyung can think of is how ugly she looks and how desperately she wants the surgery. Suddenly, her wish manifests itself and she sees a notice on the wall that catches her attention. It advertises free facial surgery from doctors who wish to test their expertise on the patients. The person doing the surgery would be a non-professional who might mess up the face altogether. But still, In Hyung is willing to take the risk. Without wasting much time, she signs up for the free cosmetic surgery program. The very next morning, she goes to the doctor's office. The man is a sketchy guy who doesn't tell her much about the procedure. But since he has the same face like everyone else, In Hyung believes he will do a good job. Before the operation starts, In Hyung is made to sign a consent form that states if any mistake is made during the surgery, the professionals will not be at fault since In Hyung already knows the risks. In the following scene, she is on the hospital bed, ready for the operation. In her dreams, she sees her post-surgery face wrapped in bandages. Everything seems to have gone smoothly. Her mother is behind her, taking the bandage off for the first time. To her delight, her face looks exactly like how she wanted it to. The mother comes near and compares their faces but she suddenly starts to panic. At the same time, we hear the doctor asking In Hyung if she can hear him. He also questions her if she can open her eyes. When he gets no reply, he nervously says that he has messed up. A clip of In Hyung shows us her face wrapped in bloodied bandages. The procedure has gone horribly wrong. In the last scene, we see In Hyung's family at the dinner table enjoying a meal. Some minutes later, In Hyung returns home and joins them. The family completely ignores her presence at first. After a few minutes or so, they abruptly stop eating and turn to her in sync. The movie ends as they continue staring at her and we never get to see the results of the surgery. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on the notification, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thanks, for watching.